Welcome back. I have been extremely silent for the past few weeks, and my mind has not left me alone about it. So I will be recreating a ball gown, ba ball gown, a ball gown from a TV show that I used to watch as a kid, and that I now soon got into. Now, a lot of you are gonna probably think, "Oh, hey, that's weird." Get over it. Um, this is the dress I'll be recreating. If you recognize who the person is from, it is Bloom from the TV show Winx. Um, this is her flower ball gown. That will be the dress I'll be recreating for Halloween. And... But anyway, let's get on into this before I spend way too much time talking and become extremely unbearable for you guys to listen to. So I will see you guys in a few seconds whenever I'm over there next to my form Beatrice. Not Beatrice. Bethany. Whoopsie. I, I misspelled her name. Anyway, I will see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, so I did this all yesterday because I had not looked at the poll yet. And as you can probably tell, me and her are not the same size on top, let's be honest. I'm not exactly how long is this supposed to be? I'm not 48 inches and I'm on the bus. I'm not that. So I realized that in order for me to get this to look the way I wanted to, 
I should probably sketch out how I think it needs to look and also how many pieces and everything I'm going to have to create. Oh, the way I just now thought about this after I just created the bodice. But, yeah. Uh, quick little time lapse and I'll be right back with my drawn out plan. Seriously, drawn out. And while I'm waiting for the cracked episodes to come up on my computer. Yay! I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Yeah. I'm gonna have to worry about figure it out but it's the fact of still having to cut out the pattern and I cannot do the loop of the skirt until I get my hoop skirt that way I know exactly how much stuff I have to cover and exactly how long I have to cover and you know how long this is gonna be but I have it mainly figured out and I will show you this is what I have the flowers the different sizes and the different looks that I want, the skirt, I have the basic size, I cannot draw a perfect circle, so of course that looks a little bit janky, and then the bodice, I already have this figured out, I have the front, the back pieces, and the zipper, I have this all figured out basically, and I just have to read about the flowers and the skirt, so um, since I don't have a hoop skirt yet, I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and start doing the pattern for the flowers. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so since I don't really know how to do a tutorial like everybody else does, since I don't exactly have a tripod I can set up correctly, that will actually not try to fall over. Um, I'm gonna try and do it like this. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to start doing the flower patterns, the different types of flower patterns. I have these two squares, rectangle things, cut out already. I'm just going to start tracing them, the different types of flowers I'm okay with putting on my dress. I'm um, going to start tracing them onto these pieces of fabric, and then I am going to create the smaller ones, and then that's going to be my work cut out for me for today. And then I hope this video should go by tomorrow, hopefully. Um, the first part of my pattern making. Oh, how lovely. So anyway, let's get on into this. Okay, so I'm just going to take a simple pen and I'm going to start just tracing out what I want.
are my next four that I have created. Okay, I'm going to cut these out and get back to creating stuff again. two more sitting over here waiting for the next piece of fabric. So let's get to cutting and drawing these out. Like whenever this is a smaller version, I'm going to know that it goes with this one. So the flowers do match up and they don't just look like a bunch of pieces put together like in the show. Okay, yeah. Let's continue me talking about random stuff. Bigger family. 
So I have one, which is like a little starfish type of thing. Two. flowers I need to be able to fill up to where I need them I will probably divide that by eight that way I know how many of each I need to either cut out or how many I need to do of certain types but yeah again after the skirt come in I'm trying to go to sleep. Okay, bye!